Welcome in to game number 13 of our Lizard Man run. A 13 looks like it might be unlucky for us because 320,000 to spend indicates we're playing a monster team. Oh, this is this is very possibly the worst of all worlds because they are a monster team on TV. Um, but they're also in silver, which means that we gain absolutely nothing from a win if we win. And if we lose, we lose a lot. They've got a bit of a weird team. They've got a piling up pile driver zombie over here. Uh, it's not weirder than that, really, is it? Oh, the five rerolls is weird. They've got normal skills here, double guard. They've got a couple of werewolves, which, as we've seen in previous games, can be an absolute nightmare for our uh, Saurus. Who can I even induce? Block will stop for even more strength. Anky, Anky Panky's the new uh, Slippy, isn't he? So I think he's pretty good. Uh, or we could take a Carla. We can't afford a Morg. Take Zug. Let's try Zug. It's a nice 100,000, which we will use for double kegs. Uh, we could take a bribe, but bribes are just so unsatisfying against regeneration teams. I think double kegs is better. Could have taken a wizard, maybe. Maybe I should have taken a wizard, but then I wouldn't have got Zug. Yeah, this is what I've been saying all along, Galentia. Like, I, I'm so bummed out by the whole ladder SR system. I think it's just not good. Um, but we got to take Zug, which I haven't done before. I think this is literally the first game I've ever played with Zug. What's the special? Once per game, you may add plus one to the armor value. So it's only the armor value, not the injury roll, which is the same as Varag, I think. I used Varag before without knowing how that worked. I don't think he has guard, does he? I think he has grab, which can be pretty good. Actually, maybe maybe was worth considering for longer grab because of the size step. Um, I didn't think about that part of it. But Zug with strength five makes this a very punchy team, right? Like we've now got six Soros at strength four, a Croxagore and Zug on strength five. So that's eight players at strength four or above and the uh, Necro only have two. Yeah, maybe handy. Like, maybe if there was enough players, you wouldn't spin into these matches, but... They've noticed I have friends here that's sad. I was thinking, should we surface a uh, zombie on turn one? Let's get you in there. Let's get Zug on the pitch, because I know they love to leave your... Um, game loves to leave your star players on the sideline if you're not concentrating. We go back to the blue red. Oh, maybe not. It's like looks so out of place. It's like it's just a hu random human on a team for the blizzards. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing here? Maybe we should spread the guard out actually. Um, I like the block as well. Collie is one touchdown from the level, which I would like to get her, so try and carry on moving eight, even though I'm sure I will end up regretting it. How do you change the pitch visual? I don't think you can. Unfortunately, it would be good if that was an option to uh, not have to use other people's pictures and you don't like them, but I don't think you can. Oh, maybe we should have gone for the Saurus catch. We could have gone for a Saurus. That was silly. Oh. Zug? Probably shouldn't use Zug first, he's a learner, but... We've rolled an 8. So, if we use the Crushing Bow, we get to roll on the Injury Tail. Why not use it now so we get to use it? Oh my god. Oh my god, what a good use of the Star Player ability. 
So that was eight plus one for my two is nine. So we weren't breaking armor until we used crushing blow. Crushing blow turned that into an injury and then they failed the regen. So Zug, uh, yeah, I would say Zug has basically already uh, paid for himself, yeah. <laughs> That's nice to get a star player who actually does uh, deliver on their value. find out. They're faster wolves, aren't they? It's kind of their thing, being very speedy. This might be too surfable, you know, maybe I need to do something like that. Frenzy skin. We've been doing random generals um, now that we can afford them. And Frenzy was on the border of, is that worth keeping? I'm not sure, but we did it. Then we did another Frenzy skin, and I said, I think one is enough. <laughs> I decided that one was my line of how many was an appropriate number of Frenzy skinks. So this is two dice in the first hit, but definitely goes into a red dice. Who needs a second dice? Gets a stun on the crooks. Easy five plus dodge for dice on the ball, true. Pile driver coming in on our uh, skink here, doesn't get it. Wait, there was a zombie dodge? Oh my god, there was. Okay, I did miss that completely. Yeah, that is pretty wild. I mean, you got five rerolls, I guess. Maybe you're just committing to to rolling them all. But see, with five rerolls, I think maybe you should reroll that. Oh, they did reroll it, and it failed. Okay, fair enough. They did. I spoke too soon. Just a push on the goal. Oh, because you're on that, okay. Sure. Yeah. to blitz with Zug, but we don't have the best blitz for them. Because that's a rush, which I don't think I can justify. I wonder if on the tabletop Zug is as little compared to the lizards. Oh, 
I love when you think about Zug as an actual like uh, tabletop style player. Oh, we're doing the piling on here, I fear. And you think about Del uh, uh, Zug as an actual like player in the law, because he's not an ogre, right? So he's just a blitzer, which means that if he was like a player on a roster, that's a blitzer who's gone strength up twice and who got three. Uh... Oh, we're definitely piling on with the arm break, aren't we? Um, who got three movement busts. Right, well, that's why we have two kegs, I guess. Could one dice the left Saurus for dice on the ball? I'm curious how. The left Saurus, like this one? With who? This one wouldn't open it on the ball because that's not got access to the cage. I think we're giving up too many hits here. Um, I thought that muscling into them with the strength of Arch would go well, but they are breaking armor very well, so. Stand you up. Stand you up. Punch this. Boo, Zug not doing a murder every hit. Punch this. Keep it there. And... Try again. Better. does regen, but out of our way for the minute is the important thing. I think the ball's reasonably safe here. I don't think we need to rush on. Only turn three. Yeah, Blodge, we haven't got any tackle yet. Good motion isn't that far off, right? Like one more touchdown. I think 12 is the next one. We've done six and eight, so I think I think one more touchdown will get us to uh, tackle. Might be time. This is a big game, Bob. How do you feel about being such an important attack? Indifferent. Ask me again for this blood. Yeah. Well, going for Zug on the one dice gets a both down, does not reroll it. See, Zug's already getting the attention. I mean, just notice if you look on Zug's player, he's got like a big uh, dog tag just saying Zug. He's got like a name tag. Oh, gets the one dice with the uh, zombie instead, does power that one. Don't you dare, I was gonna say, don't you dare remove Zug. I'd be too sad. Yeah, exactly, Kali. I think that's it. Like just there. Uh, if it if a chance comes up then sure, but otherwise no need to focus on them. Take this hit first. Give me that I don't want the Zug hit here. What we were hoping for. Stay here because I don't want Zug on the uh, wolf. That might be a very disappointing end turn. Didn't reach really even a thing. Don't think I want to activate this. Uh, maybe it's okay. No. I think we keep tight. Make them deal with it. Because if it rolls a one, it's going to be annoying. Iron hard skin would be more on theme. 
and then claws, yeah. The thing is now, like, they've made Ironheart skin, skin really good, though, right? So now it's like, I actually don't want to make them overpowered, might be a thought. Because now it, like, cancels all modifiers and fouls and stuff, doesn't it? Which is one of the weaknesses of Lizards, is that they can get fouled. Okay, it goes for our super skink at the back, goes two into one. Finally someone punished for a frenzy trap. Oh, properly punished, double spells, that's rough. That is rough. Okay, maybe we now switch open to the side. Um, could surf a zombie here. Oh, double skulls for us. Switch sides then. Oh, I probably should switch sides. I'm so tempted to do this surf, it's kind of distracting me, but I think we should switch sides. Just get away from things. Don't pull up because then we get served. Oh my god, alright. Can't reroll that with anyone reroll left. We rolled a lot of 1 in 9s that turn and double skull. We went double skull into 1 in 9. Another 1 in 9, another 1 in 9. So we did 3 1 in 9s and a double skull on 6 set of blocking dice. Not great. <laughs> Not great dice. can tag but it kind of hit us. This could dodge to get rid of him. Have you looked at face tones? Did you know you have a fat? Have you looked at it, Jim? There's a petition to remove you from the air. Movement five iron hard skin is that my gravel brawler. Movement five blocks, yeah, good shit crap. No, they can't start with guard. Guard's way too powerful. Okay, they've rolled four skulls in a row, to be fair. Like, that was pretty rough. They rolled double skull on this one, double skull on this one. That is pretty rough. I've seen some bad blood ball in my time. Uh, push it that way. You want to come up into this space so you could get to like there. Bring you around. You can get to there. Take the space. Good job, Zug. One second, then. Just do it first. Spend my blitz to try to free this one up. They've got the advantage, and it is no sure.
Maybe we should do a season of elves to describe the notion, grass notion of space. People should do only seasons of elves because they're the most fun. That's what people should do. People should say, hey elves, they're a really fun team. I should play them. That's what I would do. In bubble to play help in Union for exactly one game. <laughs> Let's manage to help the Chester Wolves. Yeah, that would put you off. I can see that being a, a downer. Pushes on Zug with the piling on, or pile driver, I should say. She's already done one removal, the pile driver. Pile driver, secret best skill. We're going for two into one on this one again. And don't have tackle, so we'll go to one dice again. Oh no, yeah, well, because that's still alive, yeah. Goes the power on the second dice this time. This time I will say fair enough because they have rolled four one dice skulls, so I can't complain they're never rolling the skulls. They're definitely rolling them. See a power there, but not to be. I think at this point this isn't doing a lot, so we can afford to take the hit. Oh, we're not getting the hit. Got a tabletop Nurgle team from a raffle at a tournament. No idea what to give do with them. Uh, run a raffle and give them away at a tournament. They're very nicely painted. Two dice into one dice. Can't surf it here. Thought for a second there was a surf on, but no, they get another one dice there. Oh, they can't make two dice without going around. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, one more two dice there. Push bottom runs up. Just pushes. Doesn't look like we're gonna move this. Oh, and then dodges again with it, I'm surprised. And kills it. Well, that saved me a job. I was thinking of losing that this turn. Um, but it decided to blitz itself. Oh. Oh. I mean, I'm not even sure that was that bad a position for them. Yeah, we were like to score. But... I guess they were down a flesh golem. Well, yeah, as we discussed, because they were silver, we don't gain much from it. 
maybe they were just put off by seeing the matchup same as us but they were the ones who had lots to gain right like if they had managed to get a draw which was hard but not impossible if they'd managed to get a draw they would have gained a lot but that is um that is the uh rubbishness off the ladder sadly um so we got an MVP on Good Guy Merton, which I think is... Oh, it's still not enough tackle. Okay, so third skill is 16. Wow. Oh, it's not third skill, is it? It's fourth skill. That's why. Because we did block Maishbo Guard, which is um, 6, 8, 12. So yeah, fourth skill. Okay, so we're still saving for tackle here, but we are closer to it. I uh, didn't get anything else out of that game. Um... Not a very long YouTube video, unfortunately. Um, but if you watch that one on YouTube, sorry it was a short game. Um, but hit that like and subscribe. Collie, if we'd been able to finish that drive, you would get a stat. That's the whole purpose of carrying on you on that drive was to get you a stat. So it is a bit frustrating that we didn't get to walk you into the end zone and uh, and get you the stat because that's what I was planning to do. I was hoping you were going to be our edge up superstar ball carrier. But opponent said no. Sadly. I guess that was just like tilt at the player dying, which I understand. I don't really know what they were trying to achieve because they'd used their blitz. So they were just literally moving that in just to be in the way, at which point it was going to get punched a lot. So I, I don't know that that would have done them any favours. But... Like even before it moved in, I was thinking, well, I think we just three dice the ghoul and score. And then they moved in and I was like, okay. So maybe he's a bit somewhere else and then it failed and it was like, okay, well. Could have been a misclick, maybe. Yeah, maybe. And that could explain why they concede as well if they misclicked something and then the tilt of misclicking definitely is a thing. The problem with these three is I think to myself, could you not just get lucky and get a Kaz and then we could level you two? But the thing is, I'm aware that during the game, I'm making really conscious efforts every time to do my blocks on these three because they've got block. So it is actually less likely that we'll randomly get our Kaz here because we're not taking those blocks unless we have to. We're taking these blocks all the time. So it is kind of inevitable that these ones will end up getting more of the SVP. And especially this one, which needs it least because if I'm blitzing, I want to blitz a nice blow. So there's like a, there's like a self-fulfilling element to the getting stuck with not all of them on block. And the only way to fix that is to just like aggressively blitz with the non-block ones, but that also will lose you games. We did try to get Dukes a touchdown. We tried really hard with our five five plus rolls to try and get Dukes a touchdown. Hey Jock. Yeah, I mean that's the other thing, isn't it, Shan? But like block and strength four is so good. It was the thing I I um I took from the vampire tournament I won recently was um I think the first time I tried vampires, I went with a lot of dodge. And this time, I mean, I chatted to Torquemada, which helped, but I was already leaning towards much more block. So I had a block thrower, a block blitzer, and a frenzy block blitzer, because they allowed one stack. I was originally going to do a blodger, but um, Torquemada suggested the um, frenzy block to me. And just block on strength four is really good. <laughs> Like, big revelation from the elf coach here. Block on strength four. Good combination. Blood Bowl Nut, thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had an awesome stream this morning. I could have told you that. I think any number of, of coaches could have told me that block and strength four is a good combination. I think there's quite a lot of coaches out there who have discovered before I did that... Uh, Str uh, strength four and block is quite good. The advice I got for Beachhead is evil. Torquemada is a very good sounding board. Torquemada is not only an amazing vampire coach, which he is, and uh, 
I don't know if it's ready for general circulation, but there is a, a vampire playbook that I might have been given a glimpse into that was uh, also very helpful. So for vampire advice, amazing. But he's also just a very good coach in general. So I think he's got... And like, there's different kinds of good coach, right? Like, I think about this... Um, I think about this quite a lot. Like, I think there's different ways to be good at Blood Bowl. Like, I think there are coaches who are like amazing mathematicians who understand the odds inside and out, who can look at the board and go, the odds of that are X, Y, and Z. And that makes the game easier for them. And I think there are coaches who are just incredibly like consistently like making the um, conservative safe choices and by like constantly making the correct choice in that way like giving yourself like the best like um safe choices that adds up to winning games and then there's coaches who are like olivier dulac who just have like a front foot mindset and who know how to put pressure on the opponent it's all about like the getting into ahead of your opponent as well as like your choices because when you play against olivier it's constant pressure constantly like shit what am i going to do and I think that's um, that's like a really interesting different way of doing it as well. Uh, so I think there's like loads of different ways to be good at Blood Bowl. But Torquemada definitely like uh, has that um, that just like overarching understanding. Like as I've seen recently from the uh, whole diagram you did, Torquemada, of the uh, like what the exact right way to do the... Um, one turn defense as well like what's the best odds so like you've like really got like that which means you're going to understand more than just vampires right like you've got like the overview of like all the different all the different stuff that wasn't a very good way of explaining it but i know what i mean in my head hmm. you should start charging for your advice listen people pay for coaching and i could think of worse people to get coaching from than you And they're awesome coaches just bang and surf. Yeah. The Blood Bowl Nut strategy. The Blood Bowl Nut strategy. Pitch clear by turn five. And then walk over to uh, your teammates' tables and say, How's your game going? Oh, it's the best bit about playing with Blood Bowl Nut at the Kent Team Championships. Blood Bowl Nut will like, stroll over and say, How's your game going? But like, oh, it's okay. You know, it's turn seven. The drive is going about as you'd expect. And then Blood Bowl Nut will go, Oh, I finished. <laughs> I won. <laughs> What did you do, Bubble? Now, oh, I killed four Saurus and then won. <laughs> I did see you say you've got six Saurus MNG. Is that on one team or is that two different teams? Because if it's six on one team, that does sound a bit savage. But that was the thing I was going to say. Like, I think there's like a type of coach who's really good at the roster building stuff. Like, there's some coaches who are just very, very good at calculating like the most like effective rosters, and that's definitely one of my weakest elements. Right? Like, I am not good at their roster theory crafting because I find it really hard to care about, and I, I know I should care about it more. It just doesn't like interest me. On like the like, I don't find it interesting, and that's just that's just the reality. Like, I, I like come to play a board game. I'd prefer that the teams sort of even and then. I'd almost prefer it if everyone just like had the rosters given to them because then I wouldn't have to think about did I make the right choice or not. Um, but um, yeah, I know a lot of people would hate that so I'm in a minority. Oh, Quincy, you're my opponent. Good luck. Welcome in for game number 14 of the Necromantic Run. We've got our lizards on 8, 3 and 2. We are up against some humans from Quincy who is in chat. And uh, they've got... Excuse me. They've got a uh, good amount of guard. More guard than us. Three guard. They've got a Tackle Mighty Bow Bozo, which is always a scary thing for Skinks. They've got a Sneaky Get Dirty Player Catcher, which is about the worst thing you want to see as Lizards, to be honest with you, because that is a Saurus Murderer. Um, yeah, that's, that's a problem. Um, 11 players... Re rolls. I am not happy about that. Uh, I'm even less happy about it now. I know they can have a bribe as well. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. This could be an absolute horror show. Um, and is 
definitely not what I want to see. Cindy and a bribe, why not? With 165. Yeah, this um this fits into my idea of worst possible matchups, I think. I mean in general humans not a bad matchup for this at all. But the sneaky get dirty player just changes a lot. Uh offense first, I think. Cindy maybe shakes it up, but I don't want to get punched and fouled first, so I think offense first has to be the way. And we'll see how we go. Mm. Nurgle is the mech now, sure, take a bomber, enjoy the minus five. <gasps> Is um is Beachhead Bowl the uh what should we call it one? The Bonehead podcast one. Cause that um I've never been, but I definitely hear that has quite wacky rules, right? They've got better? Okay, that's good. What's the play here? Like, part of me thinks the play is we need to blitz this one and then just jam a bunch of lizards into the face of that bomber and see what happens. I miss Zug. I want Zug back. I liked Zug. I liked when Zug cast a player who didn't regen on turn one. That was nice. Um, ooh, frenzy. Should we try one more time to get Collie this touchdown? I feel like we've tried several times now to get Collie this touchdown and things keep happening. Like that concede that stop us from getting Collie her touchdown. Well, that's very bad. <laughs> that is not how any lizard team wants to start a drive. Well, it is what it is. That's good, though. This pal, good pal. Really should cover this first. Really, really should cover that first. Mm. Terrible. I'm going to leave it the first time. It's tough because this could become really, really awful if we can't pick it up, but we've only got two rerolls. It does make an interesting dilemma for the um, humans, right? Because if you just stay and fight this, which you're tempted to, that means you're not coming to put pressure on our four plus pickups. Bomb gets thrown right here, I guess. Well, maybe you don't want to throw it there deep, so we've got two players, maybe you want to throw it here. Yeah, you definitely don't want to throw it where you're going to knock down two of your own blocks of steam. I mean, the fumble here is pretty brutal. Like, you've got a guaranteed three, maybe four. 
Not a fumble, sadly. Uh, we'll try to intercept it. We'll try to deflect it. Yeah. Not succeed. It's down one for us, but it doesn't do any damage. That's okay. Yeah, they haven't put any. The good thing about this is they haven't put any pressure on our uh, on our four plus pickup at the moment, which is pretty nice. And they can foul, but the foul would leave me a hit on their um, sneak yet. I would definitely take. Good. He's good. Once again, no, it's the players with block who are getting his BP, which is, as I said, sort of inevitable. Let's keep putting things on Cindy. Don't pull up everything in the machine push. This is a very odd formation. <laughs> Just all the lizards up here fighting, all the dinosaurs, and the little lizards back here trying to pick the ball up. And not succeeding. I might have put the reroll in that one if I hadn't already spent a reroll, but since they haven't got pressure on it, I think it's okay. This is a very split lizard team, yes. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Can't see heaven claim the space yet. Just forgot to take the ball with me to the space, sounds like it. That's the problem. Small problem. Claiming the space without the ball. But yeah, I'm just trying to make I'm trying to make life hard for somebody. Really don't like the bombers. Yeah, Valley, I, I think pressure on the ball would have been scarier. Like I understand wanting to play the Cindy game because you've got Cindy, right? Like, but I, I definitely would have been pretty stressed out if they'd had three humans right here. I think you could have got. Bomb is coming in. Rolls a one. One will get two of mine, but will you reroll it? I do let me roll it. Classic loner reroll into another one. The textbook. Oh, Christopher, thank you so much for the prime serve. Three months with the weirdos. That is the classic uh, loner reroll, where you make the loner, but not really. Um, all right, so stand you up. And jam you in. That's quite a few of the opposition and might be a hit for that. There's only one word to say. Burn the one. All part of the plan. Definitely all part of the plan. Let's go there in case that one wants to press the ball. Come on, Collie. Third time lucky. 
I swear to God, Connie. <laughs> some point you have to pick this ball up. <laughs> Three attempts for Collie to pick that ball up. <laughs> I'm going to let Day Day pick it up in a second. That's what's going to happen. If you keep failing to pick the ball up at some point, I'm going to let Day Day do it. Are you still alive as Skink? Uh, yes, you're our frenzy Skink. Who I think actually did deserve a couple of games ago too. Evening Mad Dog. Are you dropping the ball on purpose until Miss Veltry promises to roll for strength? I am going to roll. Okay, we've already said it. We are rolling the stat. That's definitely happening. Ooh, brings the sneaky get through, so not looking for a foul this turn. It's the one good thing so far. They have not done... Well, it's not the one good thing. We had a couple of good things, but that's a good thing. They have not done any fouls yet. Um, but yeah, the ball is getting scary now. They finally have gone for the pressure on the ball, and I think this is correct. I think it's a problem for us. I think that's okay. Yeah, so the, uh, so the little flicker you get when it's KO. So yeah, suddenly we're under pressure, which I think is correct for them and scary for me. And they're making all their dodges. Okay, not that one, and that's not the count, so that's good for us, obviously. Only a loner, but that is basically all the linemen gone. Okay, you and Bok, that's good. Holly, I'm scared about this. I really need you to make this one. I've had four goes at it. What happens if we don't reroll? I think it's still far enough back for one more turn, but it's definitely like if they make all these dodges, they could get it. Okay, all right. No rerolls, but we have got the ball. Who needs rerolls? Almost certainly me. Cindy sadly is back in the action. Did you know that the new Cabal HG loads have been so But we've got these two stuck on tail, which is nice. These have still got to do three plus dodges, unless they want to try it uphill against block. Fails the first three plus. Let's put the reroll in, makes it, gets out on the skin, gets out of the for Just to push, that's lovely. So they're down to one reroll as well now. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the thing, Shan. But like, if Cindy does do things, it's really bad in the rain. Rough. Rough dodge dice for Quincy that time. Very good for us. Um, so ball's definitely coming up. What I'd like to do is take you on three dice with block. That's what I'd like to do. Um, I'm just going to take We've got three dice here, haven't we? We take it with you, even though I'd rather do it with Mighty Bow, just because... Mikey doesn't make any difference to that side up anyway. Oh, well. I should have done that with Mighty Bow. I guess now I can hit Cindy with Mighty Bow. Nice. I have to move forward, even though it's scary with Cindy. accidental rush there, but we got rid of Cindy. Okay, that helps a lot. Um, problem here is now... Okay, that can't actually reach. It can base. So yeah, in which case we do do this dodge even without even with it being on tackle. Fine. Not fine really, but not um, not as bad as it would have been if that could hit us. Because they can also hit from here, right? So like, it was... This doesn't get a hit, whereas dodging that does cover this hit, so... We're definitely getting some good removals. Can't fault that. We are down two KOs ourselves, though. But yeah, if this gets sacked, we're probably not. Well, we might get it back, but it's all four pluses without rerolls, so it's a good chance we won't get it back. I'm not going for the ball, going for this one instead. Just going to base the ball, I guess. We can click dodge, but it won't work because we've got tackle mighty bow. Just a stun. Everyone has an issue with Cindy, to be fair. <laughs> Everyone except for the half and coaches who are very glad she exists. That's really important. That's really important because it's a lot easier to deal with one player on the ball than two. Not impossible to deal with Dukes because we, we do chain pushes, but definitely a lot easier. Uh, let's get the crocs involved. Love to see it. Let's get an extrasaurus involved. Now oh, I think this is three days. Very nice. That being stunned, we just stay where we are. I choose violence. Do it's the easiest place to make a safe box without relying on this dodge. Could have based that up and taken a block, but again, if it fails, it just gives them that chance for the inhaler wise. Like a fog the with the boobies. Boobies. <laughs> boobies. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. <laughs> Seeking advice. I'm playing some good 1.5k vampires tomorrow. I have humans, 135k inducements, bribe or Cindy and keg. I've got a dirty gut catcher for fouling. Also excited for ZFL. ZFL tomorrow morning. I would probably take Cindy. It is like... Cindy is like, you're looking for a high roll, right? I don't know, I suppose Bribe could be good against Vampires. So it really is hard to say without looking at your team and um, and thinking about um, exactly what your options are. Like, the nice thing with Cindy is like, you can put Vampires on the floor with Cindy and then you said you've got uh, a good dirty get. Uh, Fowler for fouling, so Cindy can help get good players on the floor that might not always be that easy to get on the floor. But the bribe also just means you can lean into that fouling if you've got tackle mighty bow to hunt vampires with. That could also be the way to go. So it depends a bit on what else is on your roster and what is on their roster. Um, but definitely, like my big advice for playing vampires now is hunt the vampires. It, it used to be in the old rules you hunted the thralls because they ran out of thralls. 
um, they're going to run into problems. But now, with the changes to how Bloodlust works and with how rare it is to see a vampire team that's um, short of players, I think it's always just hunt the vampires. So whatever gives you the best chance to do that is the way to go. Rich and move that first. That was lazy. And that, to be fair. It was lazy, 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 lazy. And I should have moved that. That was all lazy. Yeah, take the runners down. They're the softest targets because they've got the lower armor and the lower strength. And then stomp on them. But, like, so the reason I'm not sure with Cindy is, and Torquemada is, again, amazing vampire coach, so definitely listen to their advice. But when I played against vampires with Cindy, at a tournament, um, I found Cindy did a very good job of putting vampires on the floor. I got offense first, where I don't always like to field Cindy, but I had Cindy on offense, and she was just knocking all the vampires over, and then I was getting chances to foul them, or some of them were just going off. So it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. I would run 11 vamps if I was allowed to. Hey, j -Lev. we were talking about you earlier and your uh, amazing game against uh, games rather against Olivier hope you're not feeling too bummed about it because they were all amazing to watch and I think you played really well alright Collie as long as you live till the end of the game you get to roll for a stat but they've only got four vampires so two vampire throwers two runners then even more true then if they've only got four vampires if you can take a vampire off it's going to make your um your positions much easier because you don't have to worry about um hypno gaze in some situations okay we did not get our saurus ko back but we are on 11. OWA competitive, they are. j Love, I want to ask you something and you tell me if you're up for it or not. Um, I was saying earlier, uh, hang on, let me, I think we do backline here. Well, the problem with backline is it makes it easier for them to foul. But the one turn they have, they haven't got a throw teammate. It's definitely harder with the backline. Tell you what, let's not, let's do this. So yeah, j Love. A thing, a, a thing came up earlier that I've been thinking about and I was wondering if you'd be interested or not. Um, obviously, like, Jimmy is absolutely smashing the uh, live cast for the um, World Championships and I was wondering, like, if there was content that I could make that people would still appreciate that isn't just, like, covering the games. And one thing that crossed my mind that could be cool would be to get coaches who are involved in games to come on the stream with me and do, like, a replay cast of a game or several games depending on what, what it was and talk about their decisions um, and there were some people in chat who said they thought they'd really enjoy that so I thought I would ask if that was something you could be interested in whether you could see yourself wanting to come on and talk about your games against Olivier um, with some planning obviously like you're going to do it and uh, you can call it what the hell are you thinking <laughs> that's not what we would call it uh, Awesome, that'd be fun, j -Lev. Um I, I think that'd be really like fun uh, to do. Let me uh, look at schedules. Mm -hmm. I was saying before, I'd obviously love to have Olivier on as well, but um, I think the language barrier is probably too too big. I could ask him though, because he does post on Discord in English. Is he on podcast? Okay.
And if I'm like, oh, amazing. Well, listen, why don't we see if there's a time when we could all get on? Because I think that would be like, I think that would be freaking awesome if both of you would come on together and do it. I think that would be like genuinely awesome. Um, that might be asking a lot because I know like American time zone and then like his time zone and mine, but just learn French. I did it was easy. All right, Shamba. Shamba show off. Do you know what, Shamba? That's the correct answer. Why don't I make both Olivier and J Lev learn Italian and we'll do it in Italian? Okay, so we got our Saurus back. That's amazing. Yeah, that half went very well for us, didn't it? We scored on turn eight. Uh, they didn't do any damage. Cindy's gone. The bribe is still there, so they can still stomp on our poor lizards. But despite some extremely stressful picking the ball up situations, do you know what, Collie? You get a rest. You get to rest this half so that we can try to get you your stat roll. Well done. We appreciate the effort. How many players are they on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think with eight, we say fight me on the line. Maybe this is silly, but I'm doing it anyway. had my first hangover of uni this morning it's taken you till november to have a hangover actually to be fair i remember being 18 and i didn't used to really get hangovers so to be fair i was genuinely convinced for a rude amount of time that i was just the lucky one who didn't get hangovers and then i got older and i started getting hangovers Hangovers are a big part of why I, I very rarely drink now. Like, it's not the being drunk, it's the, the hangovers. I, I, I really dislike how they make me feel. <laughs> yes, Collie, exactly that. That is a feeling. That is exactly the feeling. Oh, deep kick with a high kick. Their turn to struggle with the four plus. Nope, not their turn to struggle with four plus in the rain. Make five plus catch. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. So they are going to get a hit on our mighty way here. Maybe that was maybe that was a risk I shouldn't have taken. I don't know. I think you're going to have a go at our best Saurus. It is only guard, not block, so it's a 1 in 6 or a 1 in 9 to fail here. And more than that, just like throw pressures up his game. 
It's about 50-50 to knock down, right? Because the knockdown is 55%, I think. But then you've got a one in six first. So it's about a coin flip, I think. Chat, I need you to do something with me. Happy birthday, Giraffe! It's Giraffe's birthday. I wanted to, oh, I did kind of say it last night for British birthday, but it wasn't birthday in her time zone yet. Hmm. I'm not sure Giraffe is even 29 yet. She might be like 27. So didn't get knocked down. <laughs> Pretty sure Giraffe got ID'd when she was in England last time, so is she even 18? She's definitely not my team. <laughs> but they did ID her. I was ID. I mean, that's that's a bit for longer ago now. But still, I was ID'd in Morrison's about a year ago, visiting Collie. I did like it. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. Made me feel good. Okay, so human spin a reroll on that rush. Are we just going straight for the score here? Scary in the rain, but also Quincy's humans are quite bashed up, so maybe that's the option they've got. If you can score and equalise, you put me back on offence and you need to do four pluses, so I can see the strategy for sure. We need to send at least one forward threat. I think we get the croc score. And do nothing. Nothing at all. That's what we do with the crop score. Not what we were hoping for, but... Don't love doing this, but I don't want them to have free movement to uh, blitz here. Mm -hmm. Make them roll dice at the very least. <laughs> it's not poison. Yay! Can I tell you something else, Giraffe, as well? It's exciting. Both uh, Techno and I have the same ones. So if you want, when we have them, we can, we can talk about them and which ones we like best. Everyone's not convinced he's not poison. <laughs> it's like a book club, but better.
<laughs> okay, so we did not throw a pass. We just rushed. So we've used another reroll, but we have brought the ball forward. We've tagged uh, Soros on the ogre. Oh my god, they're doing a foul. First time this game, the sneaky gear is finally doing a foul. And it is getting a KO, so finally getting some value for that. Snarty player, as I've heard some people call the sneaky get dirty. Snarty. Mm. Ahoy, hoy, a kind sir. Good morning. Booze in general fits both the liquid happiness and the poison descriptors. Isn't there like a brand of water now called liquid death? Something silly like that. So that catcher has killed itself. Thinking about the upper, maybe? It's a pretty rough one. If this was res format, I could see the apple here because it keeps you that scoring threat. But I think if not being res format, that's a pretty big risk on that. Um, I think we're going to blitz the snarty. I think we're going to jam our crocs in here. We're not going to jam our crocs in here. Crocs is not bothered. Fine. You could close through. It's probably better to be safe. I'm just going to. It's actually pretty annoying that um, that isn't acting. Is it worth a double rush? I think it is. Just really ramps up the pressure again, doesn't it? Oh, I just made this one nice. That wasn't very clever. <laughs> that wasn't very clever at all. I should hit that one first. Whoops. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll just leave them there. Still doesn't make it easy for them to activate those two, does it? That was not smart. Oh, no, giraffe. Wait, hang on. If your friends are coming over... Then they're going to have to come over even if the weather's bad. So why don't you get them to bring the vodka? Smart. Another removal. Oh, badly hurt Saurus. That really wasn't clever, that. Um, not thinking about the guard. Was just not concentrating. I gave him gave them maybe a way out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could have hit the guard again. Why didn't I do that? I'm, I mean, that was the idea. That last turn was just me being distracted and being an idiot. There's really no excuse for it. You're right. I should have just hit the guard again. <laughs> All of that was bad. All of that was bad. Yeah, just for some reason, my brain went to sleep. Okay, this is a declared pass action. We've spent our last reroll. We're going to activate the uh, on the ball, not that it can do much. So I run back a few squares towards the middle. Pass fails at first. I mean, a five plus catch if it does work. Doesn't work. Really I guess that's just desperation, isn't it? Um, will the croc score finally wake up? Yes, good. Um, we take this hit now because it frees up a Saurus. Get that on the wall as well. Now we can hit either of them. Bad. Better. I don't think I want to scatch this, do I? It's on the croc score. I don't want to pick it up this turn anyway. I 
It's so tempting to do stupid dodges here to surface. I'm gonna. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. Let's do this first then. Oh, no stupid dodges then. Whereas if I just blocked that, it would have been fine. <laughs> Foolishness by me, again. At least that's not a knockdown, that definitely helps. Now you've got one dice here and then try to get that to pick it up. Or just go and try and pick it up on six plus. He's great. So many what is this? A blind halflings match or something? That's a good choice for this play. Mm, guess we're not moving. Can't activate the crocs there, it's doing such a good job, like it's tying up the um, thrower, it's got a tail on the ball. They might bring Vogue because you told them of your fail plan, you're scared you'll wind up with five. Are you scared of that giraffe? Or are you secretly hoping for that? <laughs> Secretly hoping for the five gallons for the vodka. Wait, no, 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 no more dead saurus. That one's got four SPP as well. Could we? This is like the third or fourth time in a row I've, I've done Apo dead into dead. I'm really starting to think this is bugged. Like, I have rolled dead into dead on so many Apos recently. Like, I really, like, cannot remember dead appoing into anything other than dead for a while. I'm genuinely getting sus about it. Like, it's been so consistent. Like, if it appos into something else bad, like a strength bus, at least I'd say, okay, well, it's something different. It's just literally going dead into dead over and over again. That's annoying, that's four SPP down the drain. Um, oh well. It's happened. That's really annoying. <laughs> like genuinely just really annoying. I just want the Apo to one time change the result. That's all I'm asking for. Even if it's changing it to a strength burst, I would feel less mad about it. It's just been dead into dead over and over again. Like, the injury rolls are rough now, right? Like, you are rolling um, 
a D16 and you only one to six is badly hurt, so it's likely to be bad. But it's not likely to be 16 every time. 15, 16. Yeah, they can 2D here. Oh, we hit the skink, not the crocs. Okay, so we hit the crocs afterwards, but no one's left to pick the ball up. They are gradually pitch clearing us. The removals have been very, very one-sided this half. To be fair, they were good for us in the first half, but they've been pretty wacky this half. Don't like that follow. That follow made that a one dice, but all the power on the one dice anyway. Shouldn't have done that. That wasn't clever, was it? That was stupid. You've given them a chain push onto it. To think maybe I should just put that on the catcher. Okay, pretty okay, Smatter, although they could hit the croc score now. Any dodges they haven't got. No, they can bring this one in to make it one nice. But that's their scoring here, so they probably don't want to. Hmm. Oh, I'm not bringing the Guardian, so that makes it a lot harder to hit Crocs for. <laughs> so we've just got the one scoring threat. So let's try that first and see if we can just stop the score. I should probably say can. So now they can't score, so now we can think about if we can score. So it doesn't matter if we uh, don't score. They can't. You could live stream a vodka tasting? Yes, please. I would be very bad at a live vodka tasting. First of all, because I don't particularly have a taste of vodka. Second of all, because I'm a lightweight. Um, but... Uh, if the chat want to crowdfund my trip to see giraffe and do a vodka tasting, I will uh, accept the uh, generous support. <laughs> I will, uh, willing to go to uh, New York and test vodka with giraffe. I wouldn't know the first thing about fine Italian wine either. I'm just, I don't know anything about any of these things. Although I'd like to point out, hey, listen, trip to Italy has been floated and is a great plan and should be done at some point. I'm a big, big fan of the uh, hey, listen, goes to Italy idea.
come to Tilian. I would like to. When is it this year? All right, so easiest touchdown we've ever scored. Stupid sexy day day picks the ball up in the rain on a four plus. Two plus rush, six plus hand off to talk. Easiest touchdown we've ever scored. Oh my god, makes the six makes the four plus hand off and then fails the rush. <gasps> the absolute audacity. <laughs> I think that sequence of dice was six one six six. Well, we did lose a four SPP Saurus, but we did get a uh, three that takes talk. Still doesn't get talk the level, but takes talk very close to the level. I always get on talk either of those. Doesn't matter which. Uh, Victory Monkey gets our MVP. Yeah. Moral victory, I killed BB Jog. You did kill BB Jog. And I ranted about our Apo for a minute afterwards. But overall in the game, we were very lucky, I think. It was quite a rough one for you. So thank you for the game, Quincy. Um, sorry for the outrageous... Uh, outrageous... Uh, score us in the rain. All right, Collie. Your turn to roll for a stat. Please don't let her roll strength because she'll want me to tip it to her and I don't want to give her strength. Please. Agility is great. Agility for Collie, please. Please don't give her strength. Okay, movement it is. <laughs> Figure down, thank you for the uh, follow. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so now we have two movement nine skinks, which is better than one movement nine skink. Um... <laughs> God, he's mad. But now you're in a contest with Day Day to see who becomes the edge three, the edge two plus skink. Because like one of you is going to do it, right? Day Day is a lot closer to rolling his next level though, so he's probably going to get first go. How mad is Collie going to be when Day Day rolls strength next level? <laughs> So mad. All right, we need another Saurus. But Bojok has exited the team. Man, I'm glad we got the Scorus, but it hurts so much being one SPV away from block. Uh, stream manager. Manage requests. You'll never guess. It's Blood Bowl Jock again. Because the next name on the list is Dukes, but Dukes is already on there. So Blood Bowl Jock has, in fact, returned to the team. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Jeez, not even optimizing to score on the forest if you saw us in the rain who was already removed, right? Uh yeah, thank you for the game, Quincy. I think I think you were pretty unlucky in the first half. We got we got good removals early, so definitely made it tough for you. Um Still one more cows away from Good Guy Merton getting tackle. So I think that's all we do for now, Vitroic Monkey stays until they get six for a random general. That was game number 14, I want to say. 14 of the Lizard Man run. Record is nice. If you're enjoying the content on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe.